my eyes are so like um well hey guys um i just finished watching uh 13 reasons why which i'm sure probably most of you guys watched too which is good um and i didn't think that it would make me this emotional um i've never done a video on youtube where i don't like edit it and i'm gonna hope that this um is a video that i don't have to edit this is the first time i've ever done this so it's really scary um but i just watched 13 reasons why i just finished it and um it inspired me to just literally like i finished watching it maybe like like five minutes ago and um the whole last episode i just like wanted to like grab my camera and talk to you guys because um it reminded me a lot of my life and um at first obviously like my instinct of the show was like okay you know like sh sh these little situations like oh she's on this list like this is happening these like small situations were happening and at first i was in my head because i didn't obviously see the whole show i'm like well this couldn't have been the reason why like what happened happened and i'm just gonna put a trigger warning because i'm, I'm gonna say the word suicide um and if that triggers you don't watch this video um just stop the video now because don't want to trigger anybody um but if if you want to hear a little bit of my story maybe keep watching because i hope that this helps some people what i'm going to get to um but i just want to i just want to let you understand like why i'm making this video uh so you know um the first part of of the show i just didn't understand what was going on and then as the show progressed and things got worse and worse and worse um i understood what happened and it made me really emotional and i just wanted to say first off if you haven't seen the show um i definitely i definitely would watch it because it's a great show to not only show you a part of life being worth living but it's also to recognize that there's so many people around you that are going through so much and it's not just a few people it's literally freaking it's everybody it's you it's your best friend it's your parents it's everybody and i feel like like i've learned so much with people around me even still to this day that everyone's going through something but because you're going through something you can't see that other people are going through the same stuff if not worse if not less and like when you're going through something terrible like say you're one character on the show and you have your own stuff to figure out you've got your own demons to figure out you may not realize that your best friend is in critical condition and and when things are going so great for you in your life and you forget that there's other people that need help you're just shooting up this mountain while meanwhile all of the people that need help you can't even see need help because you're just you're on your path of goodness you've you've been sad all your life and now all of a sudden you're happy and it's like and the show just really makes you realize that we're all in this together we're all in this together and <laughs> it's like if you just stopped and took a little bit of time a little bit of time out of your day to ask your best friend how is your soul how are you doing what's going on because when i was in high school i still remember to this day i i can see them in my mind I, like like there's this road that i take every day to and from school and i remember i was having so many problems <laughs> And, and, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this that we're feeling the same way, hopeless. Um, I'm sorry, I have to get, Paris, Paris. Feeling hopeless, feeling like there's nothing else you can do, feeling like you've tried to talk to people, you've asked for help, no one takes you seriously. <laughs> When I, I hid it for so long, 
that I was depressed. I hid it from my friends because I thought my friends weren't close enough to care for me. Because I had friends in high school, but I didn't have best friends. I had best friends that I could go to the movies with, but they all had best friends too, and I was never, I was never only one person's best friend. I never had somebody that I could go to for things that I really needed to talk to somebody about. Because I couldn't go to my family because my family was a part of the problem. I had no friends to to talk to those about those issues and and so I didn't know what to do and um it it was really scary for me to ask for help and then get this when I finally got the courage to t Paris when I finally got the courage to tell somebody that I was depressed I told my parents in an argument and I just blurted it. I blurted it out. I, I was. I said, "I'm depressed," and I broke down in tears. And I said, "I need help." And they got mad at me. My my parents got mad at me for saying that I was depressed. And I think they got mad because I was the first child, and they didn't know how to handle that and I also think they got mad at me because my family couldn't afford much at all and and when I said I need help like I I mean I couldn't even go to the doctor because the doctor cost money so how am I gonna get treated for depression if I can't even go to the doctor for a cough like and I think um and I don't blame my parents for that like growing up now you know it's hard for parents and I understand that. Um, but yeah, so I didn't really have much, much help in high school. And I remember distinctly driving down that same road every night after dance practice, 8 p.m. And there's this windy road that there were crosses all throughout it because it, people would drive off. And, um, and I, I looked at the crosses every time that we drove home. And, and I thought about what the people's lives were like before they died. And if people visited them and, and I would look at the crosses and see the flowers die that people brought. And then, you know, I traveled on that road every day, so. I'd see when they got replaced months later and 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 it was just really really sad and I remember driving home on that road one night I got into an argument and um, I told my grandmother that I was going to kill myself because that would be the only way that people would understand how much they were hurting me if I was gone because no one was taking my words seriously so I figured um, the only way people would take me seriously is if I was gone and then I'd be gone and everyone would realize what they did to hurt me and that's when I clicked with the show is because I finally understood Hannah and I knew why she did what she did but I didn't do it and um, and <laughs> And I'm so glad that I did it. And I mean, I, I can't explain that enough. I mean, you know me now, like you know, you know my life is Ava. I'm like, I'm, I'm, si I'm sitting here on my rug. I have a cat now. Who, I'm allergic to cats. In high school, I hated cats. I hated cats because no cat ever loved me. Dogs liked me, cats, I, I know my friends cats always hated me. I thought I'd never get a cat And now I'm in love with my cat. I could cry just thinking about her being gone. I went to college I got D's FC's I repeated algebra three times and I went to college I went to college and in high school. I didn't think I'd get into college and I afforded college in high school. I didn't think I'd have money for college. I got FAFSA. I live in LA now. I was too scared to move to LA two years ago. 
and I have a best friend. I have Tila. I have four best friends. I have fr best friends I could tell the I could tell anything to. And and I remember making this list in college where I wrote down on a piece of computer paper everything I wanted to have when I was older and I wrote down stupid little things like um, I wrote down owning gold pig bookends. I wrote down owning a swinging chair. I wrote down everything on Pinterest to make me dream, to make me dream that one day I'd have a life that was perfect. Stuff that, like I wrote down things that were so materialistic when I was in college. Stuff that I didn't think I'd have until I was 50 years old. Stupid things. Gold pig bookends. Like, what even is that? I've got gold pig bookends holding up the books that I wrote. I wrote my feelings all over notebooks to get through the things that I went through. And you don't even know most of them. You could only imagine. And now my stupid gold pig bookends are holding up a book that I poured my soul into that I would have never written if I took my life in high school. And I have family that goes to church with me now. I have a sister going into college. I mean, my life is not is not what some may consider to be perfect and I don't live in a mansion and I don't drive a sports car and I don't you know I'm there's a lot of things that could be better in my life but I'm not mad at all um I'm not mad at all because I'm here and um I'm sorry if this video is really dramatic um I, I wouldn't, I've thought about filming a video talking about this, um, but nothing's ever inspired me to really film it because I was scared to talk about personal things. But um, I just want people to know that things do seem like they can't get better and things do seem like there's no other option. And you may not see tomorrow or the next day or a month from now. You may see how a perfect life would look to you. And if that doesn't happen, then, then you don't see anything else. But I beg you to just look forward to the next day and the next day and write things down, stupid things that you want in 50 years, 80 years, write down things that you can look forward to even if you don't think you'll see them for 50 years. Stupid things. Write a list down of stupid things. Write that you want a white couch. Write that you want a cat with spots all over it. Write down stupid things. Because I did that. I wrote down stupid ass things. And I posted on Instagram and I said, like, in the future, hopefully I have these things. And, and it may seem stupid, but at the time, those lists are what put me here to this day. And, and I still make them. Uh, give yourself something to look forward to that you can give yourself. Don't put worth on people because people will let you down all the time people will let you down and and as much as I want to say you know talk to your friends and family some people don't have that and and at the end of the day I think what put me here today is myself and my own desire to build a life for myself that was bigger than what I had growing up which wasn't wasn't much. Um, I came from a family where I, if I wanted to be who I am today, if I wanted to be anybody, I'd have to do it for myself. I worked at a pizza restaurant. I sold my clothes in high school to make money. I figured out ways because, I mean, that's the only way that I, I could survive. Like, 
I didn't have a college fund. I, you know, I, I wasn't good in school. I couldn't get a scholarship on my grades. A lot of things weren't going right for me, but I was a good person. And I know that all of you are too. And I know that you shouldn't limit yourself based off of what you have. Because if you don't have anything, you're gonna feel really, you're gonna feel really freaking bad all the time. And I think that's what put me in the position that I was growing up because, well, I wanted this, but I wasn't smart enough. Well, I wanted my life to be like this, but I didn't have money for that. And that can beat you down so quick. Even the stupid things, like you wanna go to prom, but no one will ask you. You know, those things, if you limit yourself, they're gonna hurt you real, real, real quick. And, um, I honestly think the only way to save yourself is by finding the willpower in you. And friends and family help, obviously. I'm not saying they don't, but I'm saying friends and family can help you so much. But if you want to live, you got to find something that you want to live for. And I know that there's so many things that you want to live for. So, um write them down uh, feel free to send me um your your list of what you made of all the stupid things that you've always wanted it's worth it life is worth it and i'm a prime example i mean i'm here i'm here i'm talking to you i'm, I'm talking to you and that's worth a lot and even even if i couldn't pay for my family to have the best life ever. I'm not Drake. I'm not freaking Tyga. I'm Ava. I live with my cat. Um, some may think that my life sucks, but I'm here and I could not be here. And that's a sad thought to think about. Sad. Years ago, if I let my life do um, what would have been a bad decision. There's a lot of things that I that I would have missed out on. And I truly think I truly think that all the things that I went through as a kid were supposed to happen and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I wouldn't. I think about it all the time. Oh, what would I wish that my childhood was better? Would I wish that d this didn't happen? Would I wish that I didn't see that? Would I wish that that, you know, that stuff didn't happen? And maybe in, in the moment, you wish it didn't happen, of course. But years down the road, when you're so strong and you've got family, friends, animals, couches, rugs, when you've got, when you've got something, something small, that you have because you didn't do that one thing that you thought would be the only decision, you're gonna look back and say, thank you, Lord, thank you, God, thank you, universe, for giving me those things so that I could have this life now and appreciate it and love it so much more because if I didn't go through any of that, who, who would I be? I'd be an asshole. I'd be, yeah, my life is perfect. Nothing wrong has ever happened in my life. Like. I'm not going to trade that for the world. I'd go through more stuff if it was brought upon me because now I know that stuff's only going to make me stronger. And if you give yourself the opportunity to go through hell, to get punched so many times in life and then prevail and feel strong as ever, God, you're going to feel like the, you're going to feel like the greatest person on earth. And now it's so funny because if people try to, bash me or hate on me or give me stupid comments or if, if someone makes you know like a remark about me who I who I am thinks they know me says oh Ava your your blue hair you, you look ugly okay okay I love my life I'm here today I'm breathing air and if you want to say that my hair looks bad my nails look bad that I I don't know I'm annoying I love my life because I'm breathing and I'm here and I'm happy with my little life in this little home. And it's going to feel really good. It's going to feel really good when you go through hell and then you get older 
and you you've learned that you can get through anything you can get through the worst storm and then another storm comes small or big and you know that you can get through that too and I'm only 22 I'm not done living I can talk all I want about the things that I went through growing up from childhood child like from it I remember being a baby going through hard stuff a baby my earliest memories are sometimes horrific and and I know that I'm not done going through pain um, my life's been good since then and of course I have ups and downs and I have things happen to me and I know that I'm gonna go through tons of storms I'm not done and I want you to know that too that the first storm you go through, the, f the first storm you go through, maybe in high school, maybe in childhood, maybe coming, maybe you're in that first storm, that first thing that makes you feel like there's no tomorrow. But if you get through that, and I know that you can and that you will, you're going to feel amazing. And then who knows, 10 years, five years, one year down the road, another storm's gonna come, and another one. I'm not done, I know that there's storms ahead. I know that there's probably breakups in my life that are gonna tear me apart. People dying, getting sick. Things are going to happen. Life is going to happen. I'm not gonna have one hurricane and then just die with my life being perfect. I know that stuff's gonna happen, but after getting through that first storm, I'm ready. And it feels really strong and really good. Um, so that's this video. I know that this was like really emotional and I'm sorry if this triggered you. I, I've never put out a video like this on the internet and I really only hope that this helps people and I hope that this is something that people will watch to feel better. Um, because, um, I don't, I don't like when I see situations happening and, and I'm not saying anything. And that's why I made the book video and that's why I'm making this video because I can talk myself out of um, saying truthful things all the time. I can see things going on and say, oh, well, Ava, don't say that because people are going to know this, this, and that about you. People are going to say this, this, and that about you. People are going to make articles, all these things. But like at the end of the day, I don't care. I don't care. When I came out as bi, my parents texted me and... and and I had family text me and they were like, well, you shouldn't be telling everything of yourself on the internet. Like, I don't care. I don't care because I know a lot of people are going to see this and I know that one person is, that's going to help them. And I will say, growing up in high school, like Yellow Ribbon Week, Suicide Prevention Week did not help. This is so random, but I remember that made it worse. Yellow Ribbon Week made me feel the the most in need of some serious help that week was the week that all hell broke loose and and, and um i just feel like things that people think are helping don't help and the things that do help are showing people prime examples of what your life could be like if you only just hung out hung on for the ride of life because life is a ride it's not and it's not a kiddie ride, it's a roller coaster. And if you hate loop-de-loops, life's gonna give you loop-de-loops and you're gonna have to learn to hate them, but know how to get through them because they come and they go. And, um, and if I can be one person strong enough to tell the truth about things that I went through, I think that's gonna help a lot more than Yellow Ribbon Week if people start actually talking about, hey, this is painful, but this is what I went through, and it's been a few years now, and look how I'm doing. I don't think about hurting myself ever, ever since since that happened, and um, I, I don't think I ever will because I've learned that life is beautiful and fun and exciting and scary and hard and and it's awesome and um i just hope and i know that you can see that too life isn't over it's not over it's it's really long and it's and it's exciting and it's a story 
and I hope that you're romantic and that you love to write and I, I hope that you love to inspire yourself because life is the biggest form of inspiration you can get and it this is my cat she's in heat right now so she's very whiny she wants a man run away um but yeah anyway i hope this helped and um i hope that this helps you um please send me your life list um i'll give a few things that i have on my life list now um i want a garden someday i want a garden with poppies in it because i love poppies all different colors i want them to be like red and orange and and yellow all and pink like all in my driveway i've always imagined a house lined with poppies and what else someday i want a golden retriever and someday i want to get married with like a rustic pinterest wedding and someday um i want to try to skydive but i feel like i'm too scared so i don't know i'll give it a little bit more time maybe in the future and i want um i want to buy a ridiculously pair of a ridiculously expensive pair of shoes one day that I'm only gonna wear once because it doesn't match with anything and it's not practical but someday I just want to buy some stupid patterned shoe that is so cute with one outfit I just want one random pair of shoes and I want to write another book someday I want kids that I can enroll in dance and soccer and and i want to have dinner parties with my husband or wife in the future with i want i want everyone to come over and host these dinner parties at my house which hopefully is a cool house but yeah those are just some things that i want in my future because i know that there's going to be one and it's going to be awesome and it's going to suck and it's and it's going to be awesome in the end um so yeah Leave me comments down below letting me know what is on your life list um, or make one like I did and tweet me pictures or send them, email them, whatever you feel like. Um, I love you guys. I love you so much. Um, if I didn't love you, I'd, I'd be too scared to upload this because I don't know what people are going to say about this. But... Um, it's gonna help people hopefully so hopefully it helps you um i love you guys and and stay strong okay that's it for this video